Welcome back everyone to Flix It Yourself. You wake up in the morning, you want to take a good hot coffee, you go to the nice coffee machine over here, you want to take your coffee and it says add hot water. It's just very frustrating every day to have to open it and refill it by the sink. You just want to make sure that you have water always ready. Anytime you need coffee, you have a full tank. So this week we'll demonstrate how to connect the water line from the sink to the coffee machine in a few easy steps. The whole kit should cost around $12, $20, around $30 the whole thing. You won't have to worry about refilling your coffee machine ever again. So we ordered three different sets over here. It might get complicated, it looks like it's complicated, but it's really not. The first thing, this is what you connect under the sink. This over here is the water line. We'll open it up soon and all types of different connections to make it work. A shuttle valve that we could do right next to the coffee machine to make sure if anything happens, we have a shuttle valve and a floater. This floater is gonna go inside the coffee machine over here. And when it picks up, when it's full, the water is full, it would stop coming water. And when it's empties, it goes down and it fills up again. So that's basically very simple how it works. Let me demonstrate it. Step number one. You want to close the cold water line. Make sure to turn it right, righty tidy. You want to make sure that it's actually closed. Hot water is on, cold water is off. Just put a little towel or paper towel and make sure it's closed. And you want to turn counterclockwise to, to take this off, the supply line. Just make sure you have a better plier than me. I don't have my tools with me. Just turn it a little bit and it would right away come off. So this T-valve is actually a very good valve because it comes with different sizes. If your supply line like over here is a very small size, you could always put the adapter so it would fit. Now all you need to do is simply turn it on. Right, remember, righty is tidy. Turn it clockwise to tighten it up. The last few turns, take your plier to make sure it's fully tight. Now that it's tightened, take the sink line, supply line, the water hose and tighten it back up. Here I drilled through a little hole. We'll feed the pipe through over here and bring it towards the machine. Okay, the water line is pulled through all the way. This is very simple how to connect. Just need to take this blue pipe and push it in. Make sure I push it in all the way till you feel that click. Now let me explain a little bit this system. Basically, what this is, it comes with a little sponge. What happens is what if the floater breaks, right? And it doesn't work properly, and the water would just come gushing out and it would overflow. You would have a Kriyasiyam stuff over here. So what we would want to add in the back of the machine, like over here, it has a little sticker in the bottom. We'll take it off, add it over here. So we'll bring the water line, we'll connect it in here, and then we'll go back up right into the machine. Like this, if any water, if anything gets wet, this would right away open up, and it locks the water right away. So Chadashulim of Shabbos, or when you're away, you don't realize there's a leak, it would automatically stop the leak. So I only have a knife, there's a special tool you can use, but I'm just going to use this, use this knife over here and cut a piece like this. It says in, where it says in you go in, you press it until you hear that click. Next you take the cut, the cut line over here, and where it says out, you press it in as well. And this line is going to go directly into the machine. So next you want to use a half an inch drill bit to create a little hole over there. So we're going to drill over here like this. Nice. Clean it off. Make sure it's clean. You take the floater. Take off the nut. Then that's on, and you tighten it. And put it in. Next, we would connect the water line to this over here. We would use this for this, this connector. Simply push it down like that. Next, we would cut this piece over here, a little bit shorter. Nice and 
push it in over here. If you want to connect another shuttle valve over here in the back, so you could always turn it off and turn it on manually, you could easily do it. Just make it, just cut it off in the middle and connect it. I didn't do it over here. And as well over here, this is the shuttle, emergency shuttle valve. You want to open up, you had three packets. You want to open it up, put it in over here, close it. If this gets wet, it's automatically going to open and it makes a blockage. So it can't overflow. This is an automatic system, it's very important. You take off the sticker over here. Okay, as you can see, this is how it's on this box that holds all the coffee cups. This is the machine. So we're gonna stick it on over here with the stick on over here. There's an option for two screws, but we don't need it. We'll just use the triple end tape. Now anytime there's water flowing over and it hits over here, it will automatically go like this and shut the water. We have it over here, the connection over here, you turn it back. Now let's do a quick test. The water is empty, the float is down. This is the connection that goes down to the sink. Let's open it. Just open the water supply line. Next one, open up the coffee supply line. Gorgeous. Look at this. No more refilling. It's simple. Five minutes to do. You have this emergency backup if anything fails with a floater. Easy to connect to the sink. Thank you so much.